join my disc. For this video, I played 50 2.2 challenge levels. Some of them were pretty hard, other ones not so much. Will I survive all of these? No. Let's find out. This first one was a doozy. Rob Top installed a virus onto my PC, made everything super fast. Then someone decided to make a wave challenge that randomizes each time you die. No predictability here. Kinda like it though. There's like a new surprise in every little kinder egg here. Then I stumbled onto this one, which is basically a UFO spam challenge, except it's for cube. I guess we're just gonna go back and forth and back and forth, and also sometimes you just get sent back to the beginning and die. That's a fun one. That one doesn't happen back in 2.1. Alright, this next one was a little weird because, like, almost the entire level is, like, straight wave and looks really cursed. SPAM 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 SPAM! <laughs> it's, like, ripped straight out of the Legend of Silence circles. Also, this end part is so annoying because there's nothing here and it's boring. And there's this randomized one that each time you die, it randomizes different parts of it, so it's almost like you're never playing the same level. It's also set to be impossible unless you put it on low detailed mode. It's like Subway Surfer. You can just do this forever. It's like Geometry Dash Endless Mode. Who would put someone up for such torture? This next challenge is a new type of extreme demon that Rob Top has been beta testing recently it's a, it's like a little funnel thing you gotta make sure you're right in the middle or else you get the splatter barely scrape past that one as like a little pixel perfect straight at the end speaking about budget this one looks like it's ripped straight out of that part of silent circles Except we got the speed hack on it, so it's actually, like, possible. We have finally discovered the Among Us wave challenge, but instead of actually playing this one, I just like, what if I sit at the top and don't do anything, and then it actually worked? And I'm pretty sure how that's how they verified this budget level. Sliding on over to the Sukupen wall of waves, the only part you can go through this one is the edges, so it looks really cursed. Also, you could have made this in 2.1. I saw this one earlier, except it was like a ship challenge. They just like copy pasted it, except they put like the swing copter in. Kind of ruined the experience for me. Yeah, this next one's a pretty good wave challenge, except for the fact that it abuses portal size. Like, look at the... Also, like, that line at the end is actually a cube portal. SOMEHOW! First half second of this next one seems pretty good, until it starts rotating. Then it becomes an absolute atrocity. Yeah, how am I supposed to take this one seriously? Playing this one made me want to vomit just, like, a little bit. Holy schnitzel. What if we put four times speed with the speed hack? That sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? And then they did it without thought of consequences. Alright, we got the challenge, Blaze. It's basically just a recent level, and doesn't have any 2.2 stuff, really. It sucks! This next one seemed pretty normal at first, and I slam I the pad at the end of the wall. I'm like, oh, okay, well, we're gonna go backwards, and through the same stuff again. It's like, nope, we're doing it again for the third time. We're gonna repeat this one. It's not even hard. Alright, then there's this one where you have to, like, hit the orbs, even though you're a wave, and that, like, doesn't work to, like, go back and forth. I don't know why they set it up that way. Kind of annoying. Quite demonic, to say the least. Not something I want to see around in the future. This one was, like, super weird. I mean, it's technically an auto level, but to get the coins, you had to do a little bit of shenanigans and, like, get a clip inside of each of the spikes and then get out before you died, which was a little challenging, I do gotta say. All right, guys. Is a recent level challenge that happens to use the street fly swing copter method. This is like what you get. Also throw in some speed hack there. Can't forget that one. I'm like street copter and right here, right now. This is an auto version of the challenge on the 2.2 server for no reason. It said challenge and then I clicked on it. I'm like stolen level, not even much of a challenge anyway. Cause it's an auto, it doesn't work out. All right, this next one, I really like the song. So I've listened to it on loop for like 40 eight hours on ironically ah, straight into the blender and then for some reason makes this um ufo part that's really friggin slow Brug, that troll at the end. All right, for this next one, we start out strong with a little bit of elation rotation and then we have a speed hack zoom in it took a little bit of inspiration from the niche level bloodbath you've probably never heard of it i think i i had a partial seizure back there Okay, this one was like kind of annoying. I think it was like a, a frame pixel game mode. Perfect right there. 
But I found a way to squeeze past it. Thank goodness someone verified this one on mobile. I wasn't sure a PC user could do it. This one isn't even a challenge. It's named a challenge, but don't let that deceive you. It is just a 2.2 level, and they decided to use the glow effect. Doesn't even do that much with like 2.2, except maybe like some zoom in, I guess. Are you get if you count that, like look at that. Wow. All right, I like this next one. We got the giant saws, and it's pretty straightforward, and that's the entire thing. And it's called a challenge, even though it isn't a challenge. Okay, this one's pretty straightforward and kind of easy. NGO thing. It's like a little street fly simulator for the N64. If you looked at this through that 2.1 lens, you'd be like, oh, wait, this one's, like, actually impossible. But it isn't. And, uh, I really like that mechanic of having that, like, spike all the way at the end. It looks really stupid. But also, very challenging. If we weren't going at 2% speed. Alright, this next one fills more of the challenge vein here. It's almost like it's a level, but it's not. It's just a challenge. Perfect. Yeah, but like, that's alright, honestly. There we go. We're going backwards, upside down. It's like a little cycles part right there. Alright, honestly, like, this one is one of my favorite challenges ever. Everything here looks so distorted, and it uses the monsters as spikes, which is pretty fun. We have, like, the entire monster squad there watching us do this one. And also, like, these spikes are so stretched. They don't even look like spikes anymore. What are these? I have no idea, but they're not spikes anymore. They have transcended to the next dimension holy crap when the 2.2 challenge level is suck i'm gonna have to vote him out and it uses a bunch of awful ah uh, i can't finish this one i can't do it all right this one was pretty straightforward a little bit of 360 180 420 oh yeah and there's also a michigan spike so you know i gotta rate this one high highly four out of five stars i give it all right for this next one even though it's going at like a third a mile per hour i still found a way to mess it up and it also abuses a lot of hitboxes like i'm pretty sure this right here is not legal under geometry dash law also there's a glitch where the things at the top keep bugging out even got a new color for that one a little friday night funkin at freddy's mashup that for some reason was turned into like a consistency challenge it was okay honestly i have very little to say about this one other than a belated groan this one just does a little bit of jittering and then sends you into the street wave challenge but it's not too bad so yeah, there we go. Let's rotate this one. Oh, we're go we're flat and lining. Ah, never mind. We're going directly to the sun. Perfect. That was like five very intense seconds right there. All right, finally, a little bit of a speed hack street flight challenge. It's not too bad because it's at like one percent speed. All right, this is like a budget version of the thing earlier. So instead of having like the block in the middle, we you literally just like hyper click to beat this one. Not that fun. Wouldn't recommend it. And then this one's just a normal street flight challenge that's not even that hard at normal speed. You could have done this one in 2.1, but it, whatever floats your boat, man. If you're gonna be that way, sure. Alright, this next one, it just, it just spammed a bunch of monsters and, like, towers and then decided let's... Yeah, this one's like, yeah, we could do, like, a normal challenge. Let's put some spin on that, bitch. We're turntable in this one. That's all it has to offer. Not that great. The hardish pixel perfect jump here. Probably can't do it. It's probably impossible. Oh, wait, there we go. Got it done. Holy crap. That was crazy. All right. For this next one, it's just a really annoying, invisible, shaky ufo challenge it's it kind of sucks wouldn't suggest it no then there's this one that's like annoyingly long impossible spam wave i already saw something pretty similar to this one earlier i don't know why we got another one all right and then i ran into this one challenge that basically reinvented the entirety of silent circles <laughs> holy crap it's so tight right there i don't know if i can do this one <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a little insane i'm pretty sure like out of the 50 levels i've played this is like 40 of them it's like this copy pasted stop the block design here are you going for a gay or recent level spam 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 why are there so many wave spam challenges i am tired of seeing it no it's another one of these stop